Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add text to your Affinity Photo projects. So here I am in Affinity Photo. I already load my image here, so I start my new project from the image by dragging and dropping this photo. We can also start a brand new project that is blank without any image in. Now we simply need to head to the left and search for the text tool. It's marked with this letter A. There are actually two different text tools. You may see the artistic one at the top and the one with letter T, the frame one below. So just press and hold. Let's try the first one, the artistic text tool. For this one, you can just click now and type your text. It's rather tiny, in my case, only 12 points, and the, this image is large, so I can now change that here by selecting the text back or just pulling here to transform all the way to 1158 points. All right, let's change the color of the text. So be sure the text is selected. Highlight the text, color is over here. I will go with the white. We can change the font, the very first option, and nowadays you can even click this little heart icon and keep some fonts as favorites, like I did. Okay, now we can adjust some minor settings, but in my case, it will not make the difference where I align my text because it's a short artistic text. So that's the main purpose of this first tool. Art artistic text tool should be used with the short text like this one. All right, now we can see the text layer here on the text panel on the right. If you hover your mouse at the front, you will see this art text. You can just double tap to zoom in on this preview, or you can double tap on the type of the layer. You can double tap to preview like this, so it will kind of zoom in to see the text. And then we can double tap on the text itself to highlight the whole text if you plan to make some changes, like change the font or the color or anything in between. We can now also adjust the opacity for this whole text layer. Here is the slider. And if you like, you can change the blending mode from this list. The finishing touch will be to add some layer effects. So hit FX below. And this way you can easily add like shadows, like outer shadow here. We can make some kind of offset. We can change the size of it, transparency of the shadow, and many similar effects, including outline. If you want outline around your text, it's really easy to do it here. Keep in mind, now we can also add multiple effects of the same kind. So if I click plus here, I will end up with another outline that I can modify color and size. And I got two outlines on the one text. So that's pretty easy. If you want to switch off those effects, just click those checkboxes. And we are back to the plain text. All right, so that was the artistic text tool. What is the second one for? The second one should be used with the longer text, frame text tool. In this case, instead of just clicking, we click and kind of draw the frame first. And now we can paste a longer text inside that frame. I can go to the text at the top and I can insert a filler text. Here it is. I will need to double tap to select all of the text and adjust the size of it. It's way too small right now. We can now also change the color. We can use the picker to pick some color from the backdrop if you like. Just like that. And of course, we can adjust the font like before. And in this case, for this kind of frame text, you may even click here this letter A to see more options for characters over here or all the way at the back you should be able to see typography menu as well 
with additional options that may pop up here inside the studio or you can drag it out as well so as you can see we got some additional options for the text formatting if you are done with it just close those boxes and that's it so that's how easy it is to add text to your affinity photo document keep in mind it's still editable text if you save it as the native format and reopen you can easily edit the text i hope this short tutorial was helpful and i will see you in the next video